in this video we're going to be looking at using the SAP HANA MDX provider to analyze data which we've built within the SAP HANA studio. So firstly I'm going to recap what an analytic view is, what an analytic view is which depends on a hierarchy and then we'll use Microsoft Excel to analyze that data using the MDX provider. So let's firstly review the two analytic views that I've built and if you want to see how these were actually built you can go and review the other videos in the series. So I'm going to expand my system database, my HDB database, go into the content folder and we have a package called STS and it consists of two analytic views. Now one of them is just the basic analytic view. If I double click on the analytic view, we can see that it hits three column tables. So essentially we have a fact table which is surrounded by three dimension tables and we're not using any views in this analytic view and we've built one calculated attribute which simply converts one of the columns and outputs a quarter so Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 so that's what's in that STS analytic view we have another analytic view which is called STS analytic hierarchy view and again if I open this analytic view the source of this is one core table which is a column table uh, and it's a fact table but it links to an attribute view and we can see this in the logical view tab so this data foundation which is based on three objects from that fact table two measures and one primary key or foreign key is linked to an attribute view which consists of one key attribute three actual columns and also we've included a hierarchy called product hierarchy as you can see on the right hand side the hierarchy starts that line then drills into category then drills into product so if I right click on my analytic view the first one and do a data preview we can see this is what the data looks like so we've outputted eight or nine dimensions and at the end we have two measures but there are no hierarchies in, in this view and in the analytic hierarchy view if I do a data preview it's a lot simpler we can't see the hierarchy here but we have a product hierarchy and we have the same two measures outputted so these are the two views that we're going to use within the SAP HANA MDX provider. So to launch the MDX provider, we simply need to launch Microsoft Excel. So the way you access the data provider is in the following manner. Now it's important to realize that if I go to Excel, and I select the home you can see that I'm using Office 2010 so that's the version I'm using in this part of the demo so if I go back to the home screen the home tab what we need to do is go to the data tab and select get external data from other sources from this list of other sources we're going to select from the data connection wizard and then from the five lists of data source we want to connect to we select other advanced and click on next here we can see access to the SAP HANA MDX provider now of course if I go to choose ODBC DSN and I, I can access I've installed my ODBC connection on this machine because I've already installed the HANA ODBC drivers but this method of accessing the data it's a slightly different method so this day, this way is not the non MDX provider but of course we want to use the MDX provider so again it's within the data connection wizard we select other advanced and we must make sure that we see SAP HANA MDX provider that's the key thing here so then I'll click on next and we'll be prompted to enter our credentials 
So for me, the machine is HANA. The instance is 00. zero. The user is system. And the password is welcome one. And the language is English. And I can do a test of the connection. We can see that it succeeded. So then I can click on OK. So the first thing you'll get for that SAP HANA MDX provider is a list of the possible databases and tables that you can connect to. Now, of course, you can select the schema that you want to connect to. And when we've only built those views within the STS schema. That's why we only see the STS schema as a possible database that we can connect to. So the next thing we can do is access one of those analytic views. Again, this analytic view has no hierarchy in it. And this one has a hierarchy in it. So to select the one with no hierarchy first, I'm going to select STS Analytic View and then click on Next. It will then give us a default file name. We've got a description, a friendly name. So I'm going to call this My Analytic View with no hierarchy. And then we can add a search keyword. And then you can use this file to, auth to test and refresh the connection, of course, when the data changes in the HANA database. One of the options you have is your authentication um, um, settings. So obviously, we can use Windows authentication because we're on the same machine as the HANA ODBC connection and the HANA, um, SAP HANA MDX connectivity. But you can also use things like SSS, and you can actually default to have no authentication. So you have to log in at the time. So I'm just going to use my Windows authentication. So again, this one has no hierarchy, so I'm going to click on Finish. So in case you're prompted, I've already created a test connection, but I'm just going to click Yes to override it. And then we can choose where the data set will go. So obviously, if you want, if you're working on the data sheet, you might not want to specify where it goes. But in my case, I'm going to say, well, I want to output the data in a pivot table report. So I'm going to click on OK. Again, you'll be prompted to log in. So I'm going to type in my password, which is welcome one, and click on OK. So now on the right hand side, we can see our objects. So it's very simple MDX. So obviously, one of the first things I can do is say, well, I want to look at net sales. If I select net sales, it's simply going to do a select star on the whole of net sales. Um, and that's the only column that's going to be outputted. But of course, if I drill down my list, I can do it based on one of the attributes in that list. So I can, for example, select country name by selecting on the list. And now, of course, you can see the countries. And within that, I can select my city name just to expand that data by clicking on city name. So you can see how it's slowly building up a hierarchy. We have Brazil, and Brazil contains the cities Brasilia and Rio. And obviously, the combination of these two sales equals this sale. It's very easy then to add extra measures. I just click on the extra measures I've got. And then alongside, we will have those measures. And of course, I can now go and select any other object. So if I go and drill down and select, for example, the year, we can see now we've split up each row into a year. So you can see that we're, we're, we're enabling this drill down concept. And you can see now Brasilia is split into sales or and quantity for each specific year. We can choose to change the layout of this pivot table list field list on the right hand side by clicking on this icon here. So we can choose to filter things side by side or we can choose the field sections only. There's lots of different ways we can view the data that we want to select. Of course, we can also filter on data. So for example, if I right click, so if I um, open up my year, expand my calendar year number, we've got the calendar year. And if I click on this drop down here, here we're selecting actually all the years. But of course, I can choose if I want to focus on a specific year. So if I focus, for example, on the year 2003, sorry, 2004, and click on OK, then we'll restrict the selection to 2004 as a report filter. So that's a simple introduction 
into using the MDX provider where you don't have a hierarchy. If I go now and build a new sheet, and again for the second sheet I'm going to go through the same steps. I'm going to choose data from other data source, use the data connection wizard, I'm going to use the SAP HANA MDX provider and log in again. But this time I'm going to choose my hierarchy. And then I'm going to say this is my analytic view with a hierarchy. And then I click on finish. Again, I'm going to place that data on the top left hand side and I'm going to log in again to authenticate. But now we've got that hierarchy. So now I can again go and select net sales. But now I'm going to choose to include the hierarchy. So now that we've included the hierarchy object, it's much easier to drill into the data. So now I can, for example, focus on electronics. And um, now I've got the ability to click on the plus sign and it already it's drilling down to the next level of that line category, which is the, I think it's the category. So we've got line and then category. And then of course, if I want to look at my computer products, I can drill on my computers. So I can see a list of accessories, Apple systems and PC systems. So you can see with the, when you use a hierarchy, it's much easier to drill into the data. Of course, it works the same way. I can go and select based, I can select other measures. And of course, now that we've got this data out, we can easily convert this to a specific type of chart. So to do this is very easy. So let's say I want to build a chart based on these specific levels. I can simply select my pivot table and at the top part of the Excel spreadsheet, I can see we've got pivot table tools. So we have two tabs, options and design. So I'm going to go to my options. I'm going to select here pivot chart. And then we have a choice of different charts that we can select. So I'm going to select my stacked bar here, which is the second option and click on OK. And now we can see a very simple chart based on that data in HANA. And of course, as the functionality when connecting to SAP HANA MDX is the same as any other pivot table in Microsoft Excel, it's very easy to, to change the way the data is displayed. So of course, it's easy for me to drill down on a specific section within a specific hierarchy. So within this hierarchy, I have three levels, uh, sorry, three um, nodes at this level, electronics, sports, and telecom. For me to filter, all I need to do is select the product hierarchy log in again and then all I need to do is select the specific part that I want to drill down on so I'm going to select sports click OK and now we're on the sports level we only see this obviously the data for sports but now if I double click on my sports you can see here now we've drilled down onto that specific level Again, it's easy to change charts. If I click right click and select change tar chart type, I can obviously change this data to have a different type of analysis. So here I'm going to choose a different view of that data. There you go. So that's hopefully a very simple demo on how you can use SAP HANA Studio to build analytic views which can then be consumed using both the ODBC and MDX providers in Microsoft Excel.